whether or not you hear from Republican leaders. Do you feel like this has any impact on this race? It feels so fluid right now, Doug, in terms of anything could break any different way. Does this have an effect at all? Given the margin, it does. And it explains why you haven't really heard anything from Kevin McCarthy or other members of leadership yet. Uh, yet. We often say in politics, you can't get in trouble for what you don't say. Now, often you get criticized for not saying anything. But if you're Kevin McCarthy and Steve Scalise and other members of leadership, if you say the wrong thing, which actually in this case means the smart, sensible, right, obvious thing about George Santos, that affects one vote for the speakership because Santos will have a vote for speaker unless he decides not to. And that puts then the House potentially in jeopardy. If Kevin doesn't get the majority on that first vote, we go into very uncharted waters that isn't just political parlors and, and fun to speculate on, very serious Although ramifications. It is, it is a political parlor game and fun to speculate on, but you're right. <laughs> Once the speculation ends at a certain point, if that vote really does get dragged out, the leadership of the House will be in question. I, I mean, I think there's something here that we're all missing, and that is what actually George Santos has done and the outrage that has to be there from the media, from elected officials, from Democrats. I'm glad we're seeing it from some Republican officials, at least at the local level, clearly not yet on the national level. We know why. But that should be infuriating in and of itself. Because this guy, George Santos, if that even is his name, has perpetrated the biggest case of voter fraud, voter fraud, on his constituents in his district. That should enrage every single person who voted for him. And Margaret's right. There's no law, but maybe there should be a law. If people are not going to police themselves in terms of what being an, an elected official means, there should be a law that you cannot lie egregiously. And they were lies. He talks about embellishments. Embellishments are, look, I was maybe not at the top, the top of my class, but I graduated from, from this university. That's an embellishment. What he said and what he continues to say are outright lies. It's hard to find something that is truth yeah. that is an actual... But, but well, in the there, and he, and he, ta he's, he was entrusted with an elected position. That is a position of public trust. And this guy, if he even is a guy, has completely broken that public trust.